Hi everybody, thanks for watching in replay. I am Cindy with Runs with Scissors and Chalk and thanks for hanging out. Um, today we're going to actually wrap up a project that I started last week. Uh, we inked this very cute uh, kind of canvasy, not canvas, but burlap um, bag, tote bag with this very cute pocket on the front. Um, with Farm Fresh and at the night that we did that we made this flower To go with it and I've made this flower a couple of times But the more I looked at it the more the less happy I was with the color Differences between the couture teal and the color of the burlap ribbon and I did look for Burlap more in my blue color and I could not find any so I'm gonna change gears a little bit and I see folks popping in. Hi, Kathy, Carol, Terry. Thanks for popping in, ladies. And I know there were some I missed. Nancy. Hi, Nancy. Um, we're going to make this rosette. It is a drop cloth rosette. Now, um, so I made one ahead of time. We're going to make one together and kind of finish this project off. And I'm going to take the time to show you how to make this guy or girl, however you look at it. Now, my strips, I've gone ahead and dyed, but I'm going to show you how I started. So this is a piece of, it's just, it's a canvas drop cloth, literally. Um, I ended up with extra drop cloths. I use them for classes and whatnot. Hi, Kathy. And I ended up with like four and I don't need that many. So I'm sacrificing one that um, I've taken pieces of it off. So you can see it, it really is just my drop cloth. I'm going to cut about an inch and a half width and just make the first, I'm going to make two, the first cut and then just use your muscles, maybe, if I have muscles, there you go. And we're just going to tear it, split it right down, and that gives me the strip that I need. This is what you need to make the flower right there. It's got the little ragged edge, which we like. And I went ahead and I did this a couple of days ago. So they're dry now. So I've been planning this for a while. So I went ahead and used um, some Ritz. This is aquamarine, which I thought would be a nice close, you know, proximity to my ink. And it is. And I went ahead and dyed I dyed three strips. I didn't think I would need more than three flowers. And I went ahead and dyed three strips up and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna turn these strips into this very cute little flower. So it is not hard, it just takes a glue gun and a little bit of finesse and patience. Hi Deb, hi Lisa, who's that new woman? Yes, after almost three years, I finally had enough hair to get a cut. And um, yes, I love my guy. I used to ask him to come to the house in the morning and he told me if he had a nickel for every time a lady asked him that. So I was serious. He could come in the morning and do my hair before work. Yeah, he did such a great job. He still does. All right, let me go spin you guys down and we'll, uh, we'll make one of these rosettes for you. Deborah. At least I saw you said something, but I lost it in rotation. Let me see. There you go. All right. I have a, um, I have kind of a game I want to play in our, in my VIP group and that's there. So there's a couple of different methods. I've seen ladies who, um, turn and they glue as they turn. I saw other ladies, you know, crafters, who formed it in their hands and actually I formed it in my hand and I think you're gonna see how simple this was and it and dyeing the fabric so it didn't it's not exactly the same you know it's not as bright it's because the um, the beginning fabrics actually that off-white color it's not actually a bright white so that might influence your color choices but I'm gonna take one of the one of the um, pieces, this one, I'm going to need that last, and I'm going to try to work 
Carol yelled at me yesterday or this morning that my camera angle was off. My camera was really bad last night. I'm very sorry. <laughs> the um, screws loosened and it changed in the midst of of doing things, and I never got it right, and I didn't realize because I couldn't see it. So the first thing you're going to do is just fold this, you know, inch and a half piece in half, and the first thing you want to do is put a knot in this end, and that's going to be the um, your the bud of your flower. If I can make a knot, I can make a knot. I'm I'm confident. My hair looks awesome. Thank you, Lisa. Yes, like I said, I waited. I waited a long time. I'm just going to cut that excess piece off. And I don't want to, I want to keep it folded. I guess you could iron it, but I really think you don't want it, um, you know, super tailored. It, it's kind of the whole messy thing is, is what you're going for. And what I did is I just twist it. You twist and roll. So you just keep twisting it in half. Keep twisting. I saw one girl too who folded it in half, which is actually a good idea. It would just make it thicker. Twist and turn, twist and turn. Just gonna keep making sure I've got it. Fold it in half. And I'm just rolling it up on itself. So you can kind of futz with it later. And I like that ragged edge. I think it really adds something. I think these are these are really happy flowers. I sound like uh, Bob Ross. Although I think his trees were happy. And I'm just going to... Roll that. Keep folding it in half. I did this last night watching TV. I was just kind of playing with it. And actually, it's it stayed upstairs my whole, the whole day today. It just sat on my coffee table, coiled. I hadn't even secured it yet. So they are pretty, pretty durable. I'm just, it's like coiling the garden hose. Let's see, let me coil this some more. There you go. And I'm pulling something off the table. I caught something. Okay. So you could go and glue, you know, every few dots glue. I did not do that. I glued that whole thing down at once. Well, I did it half and half. I glued half of it down and came back and glued the other half down. And it's just the turning. It's just the twisting of the, of the ribbon or the, the cloth. So it's a drop cloth flower, quite literally. And again, I thought it would be a good, I liked it better. The other flower I like, I like it a lot. It just sticks off the bag too far and it's gonna be a, gonna cause problems, I think. So just keep twisting and rolling. And it's kind of coming together. I'm almost done. I'm doing it at a weird angle for me. I did it up in the air when I did it upstairs, but I do have the table. Twist and turn. Twist and turn. And then when you get to the end, the last part, you're just going to tuck that under. You're going to tuck that under and glue it under. And that is your your rosette. So I went ahead and cut a piece of fabric. You could use felt, you can use paper, you can pretty much use anything that you want that you're going to glue it to. But I wanted something I could stitch through and and stitch it to the 
to the bag. And I think that that's big enough. Now I'm going to set that down. And it should stay coiled. My trusty handy dandy glue gun. So I did half. Pick this up. I'm going to put half down. Well, I'm putting the whole thing down, but pressing half. I'm going to peel it up. I'm going to just add some glue on the inside there. Okay. Put this side down. And then just kind of peek and see if there are any spots that, that I really need to kind of tack in. Just add a dab. You know, if it didn't get, get caught by the base. And actually, let's do this. Then. It's more on that edge. How cute is this? So you can do them any color. You can do the do the natural. Just leave the uh, leave the drop cloth. You know, leave it the off white color. You can dye it any color. Actually, I'm doing some I'm doing a bunch of dyeing. I dyed some flowers red. Let's see. Let's tack that down a little bit. Anything else sticking up? This one ended up being a smidge bigger than the other one. And I cut the, um, the circle based on the other one. So that is it. So you have these two, two, cute, two cute flowers. Maybe I'll do one uh, a smaller size. And, you know, they're going to stitch pretty nicely to the, to the bag. Just stitch them right on there because you can sew right through them. They're just fabric. I suppose the other one. Let's make one small one. Let's do one half the size just to see for giggles. All right. So this one's got this one. One of the edges is kind of really raw. So let's cut this off. Let's do this top part here. So fold it in half, knot it, the notch your, the rosebud, the bud of the flower, and it doesn't seem to matter up or down at all, <laughs> it doesn't matter, just twist, let's see. Twist, twist, and then roll, roll baby, roll. Let's see. And again, I'm doing this one up in the air. Let's see how much smaller, because I cut off a lot. I used to, I made ribbon, I made, um, not ribbons, flowers out of ribbon, like silky ribbon, a long time ago. And I was actually trying to remember how I did those. I might need to pull that tighter. So how much smaller is this guy? He's smaller. Maybe I'll use a big one and a small one. All right, and you stay there. Where's my fabric? Let's grab a piece of, this is uh, just duck cloth that I have. And 
This is how I did that. I just figured out how big a square I need it. You stay. And then I need the square. Into a circle. I just trim the corners. Doesn't have to be perfect because you're really not going to see it. And if you need to make it, you know, edit it, just cut it from the bottom. So that is my rendition of a circle. All right, let's see. Did that fall apart too much? Half. And then And I'm going to stick down the raw edge, the open edge first. Yeah. All right, and I pulled it in some, so I will have to make this smaller, but that's cool. All right, glue this side. Smush them down. I think they're darn cute. Um, I saw people made pillows, put these on pillows, you know, would be perfect in a bedroom for a little girl's room. Anywhere you have shabby chic going on. And I really think shabby chic and kind of farmhouse chic, they, they kind of go hand in hand. And then just find where it's kind of loose and <laughs> reinforce it. All right, so this one we're just gonna take and trim. I do have good fabric scissors somewhere. Get rid of that base so I can't see it. And voila, I think I like these two. Is this the first one I did? And I'm not going to glue them on. I'm actually going to sew them, uh, needle and thread it. Oops. I know I'm all butterfingers. What do you guys think? One on each side. I do top and bottom. Maybe top and bottom. I kind of like that. And they're flat. They're not going to catch on things. I mean, I love this. I love these flowers, but it was just, I didn't know. I was starting to attach it, and I'm thinking, it's just going to get caught on everything. And rip off these will not and I really strive to match my colors and I'm super happy with it so I will stitch those on I'll take more pictures of this make that right let me spin you guys back up hi everybody I'm back I'm back um, okay so this is gonna be a game in the community group you have to guess the number of uh, confection uh, conversation hearts in here and the we'll do it up till I don't know right before Valentine's Day the person who comes closest I have a size a transfer for as the winner um, let's see what else I posted the retiring uh, stamp sets not stamp sets uh, transfers that are going away uh, they're good through the end of this month come the 31st they will be gone New catalog transfers go active on February 2nd. Uh, tools, accessories, and the new um, uh, surfaces, the wood cutouts, are available on the 16th. So keep your eyes out for those. I don't know what Club Couture um, incentive will be for next month, but you still have a week if you want one of the... Thanks, Beverly. If you want one of the um, free surfaces this month. So that is still going on. 
So thanks for hanging out. I didn't, I didn't chalk or ink, but we finished a project that was kind of hanging over me and I wanted to get done and I thought it was worth doing. So that's what we did. Have a great rest of your day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. And if it's snowing where you are, be careful. <laughs> All right, girls. Bye.